What is your purpose of drinking a cup of coffee? What is your view about coffee? Just a drink. Give you inspiration on your work. Someone said that the life are consumed by coffee; they can't live without it. Someone said they have a cup of coffee every morning because this is the best way to start a new day. This showed that people have different purposes to drink coffee. In different countries, there are many kinds of coffee. They have special tastes, colors, smell, and meanings. There are two thirds of people drink coffee in the world. Today we will compare two places, and they both have their unique culture. They are France and Hong Kong. We talk about France. We will associate her with romance and relax because these are their culture. Moreover, there's only one thing that the French take more pride in than their language and culture. And that is their coffee. <laughs> Drinking coffee in France is a laid back activity. When you go into a cafe and order a cup of coffee in France, you can check with your friends leisurely. Even if you're alone, you can also enjoy the quiet personal spirit. Then. You can get away from the noisy and annoying livelihood. People drink coffee. It's not just enjoying the taste of coffee; they also enjoy it artistically. As the tour in France takes a day off, it reminds me of one of the best indulgences in France: doing nothing. To be specific, doing nothing in a cafe at the World Cup. Imagine you are an aristocrat in 17th century France. Coffee shop is the place you would go for your afternoon coffee. But nowadays, people are stopping in for coffee after working or after a shopping spree. When drinking afternoon coffee in France, this is just what you need to keep going to a o c l o c when the French have dinner. Sometimes it is what. A proper French dinner with a few courses can be consumed for over three hours. But I can't. I have to go now. Tasting coffee is a kind of way that French relax themselves, but the situation in Hong Kong is totally different. Hong Kong people is very busy. Hong Kong people would like to drink coffee in two ways: by instant coffee and canned coffee. Since having a canned or instant coffee is fast enough, people would like to have this kind of drinking coffee rather than brewing a cup of coffee in a traditional way. See how fast it is. People, cars, and a cloud of tall buildings. These are the symbols of Hong Kong. The principle of Hong Kong people is very clear. The principle is to make use of every second. Also, they would like to get the greatest heavens in a limit of time.
so they work very efficiently. Here are some examples. This is staff room of a secondary school. Hello sir, what are you doing now? Yes, I'm having my lunch. Oh, but you are also doing your work. Yes. But do you know that by so doing I can save my time? Also, everyone in the office with their lunch like this. And do you know that? Time is money. See? Okay, sorry, I'm very busy now. Okay, thank you, sir. Evidently, Hong Kong have a high efficiency on their works. We are going to interview a tourist. Uh, how do you do it? And may I ask you some questions? Yeah, yes, sure. Okay, where do you come from and how long have you stayed in Hong Kong? Uh, we're from London, England and we've been here about two weeks. Well, uh, Hong Kong people give you what kind of impressions? Uh, impressions? They're very busy people. Uh, they're rushing about all over the place. They're, uh, they even eat their lunch when they're working. Um, oh. But they're very nice people, they're very friendly people and helpful people. So, thank you for answering our questions. Enjoy your holiday in Hong Kong. Bye. Oh, Bye. thank you. Bye. 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 See you. Evictions, hardworking, and make use of every second are the symbols and speak needs of Hong Kong people.